So this is a video that people have been asking for since the beginning of me starting to vlog. Um, people are always commenting on our house and talking about how pretty it is and all of that stuff. And I'm only saying that to say this. Along with that, they have all been just asking for a house tour. Um, and I was hoping, well, I'm not hoping, but I was thinking we would wait until the house is finished and do it. But it's been almost 10 years and it's not finished yet and we're actually getting ready to start a different project um and it's a project that i wanted to document as well so i figured you know people's wanting to see the house tour i would go ahead and just do it do a whole house story um so that's what we're going to do today um there are a few rooms in the house that we will not be going over and that is the girls room um we didn't actually go into john's room during the tour but we're not so you'll see a little bit of John's room but we're not going into the girls room for two reasons one it has not changed like the only thing we've done is in the back room we've took out a bathtub and added some shelves and two it is a complete disaster um it's two girls in a kind of small room um so that means two beds tons of toys two huge doll houses so the room is a mess but it will be coming hopefully within the next six months um we will be doing an update in there as well so pretty excited about that but i figured we would go ahead and share a house update and house story so no one knows this except for my friend marina um but our house is not a house no our house when we bought it um in 2011 was a super simple double wide trailer um when we bought it we really liked the location of it and we was trying to find something pretty close to um where john met for work because he already had to drive um sometimes two three hours to get to work because he was um he was a foreman for a bricklaying company so he already didn't want to drive any more than that so that was one of his stipulations is it had to be within 15 minutes of the meeting spot for his job at that time um and this place was just perfect it ended up being the really good price range um and just a really good location it had a lot of potential when we the day that we got the keys and moved in here john knew something had to change um he didn't have room for his stuff so i think that next weekend um is when we started making changes and we've been making changes ever since things go slow for us because come on creeper things go slow for us because john does he now owns his own general contracting business where he does bricklaying and house building and house renovations roofing just anything to do with building um him and his little tiny small company they do it so along with running his own business with his brother's help of course but along with running his own business he also um he's doing all the renovations by himself and we have not took out a second mortgage to do this stuff i refuse to take out a second mortgage so we just have to save up money do it as we save money why are you staring at me Every time huh mm -hmm. we just came up here because he was up here oh doing it as we save up the money to do it and as we have the time. So it's a slow process, but it is a, satisfy a satisfying process. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the story. Um, when we bought the place, I took tons of pictures, you know, the day we got the keys, but I didn't, I didn't record anything. That was before my recording days. So we're gonna start with pictures, but the actual now current house tour will be video. So let's go ahead and get started. One more thing before we get started, um, I just want to take a moment and point out and acknowledge how thankful that I am to have um, the husband that I do without John and his um, talent and skill. There is no way, no way that this house would look the way it does. Um, he had a vision and it slowly became a reality and I literally could not be more proud of him. Um, just he thinks of things and sees things in a way that normal people don't um and it is a blessing to have him as a husband um 
So yeah, we're gonna throw that in here. All right guys, and this is the day that we signed our mortgage. There's no Nolan because he came a year later, but, and this was like two weeks after we signed our mortgage. This was the outside of our house. Yes, I told you super simple, double wide. Um, and then I am going to include some pictures of the end. All right, and this is the entry into the back of the house. Um, it was our laundry room, and then the rest of this is like some of the main living area. Um, included the dining room, the two living rooms. One was actually called a family room, but the two living rooms. And then you can see right through there, that is the kitchen. Um, this is back into the living room here. The dining room, again, I mean, it was it's open floor plan, which I do love and still do love. But so, you know, it's all just together. This was in the kitchen area. This is what the guest bathroom looked like when we bought it. We've not really changed much in here. Um, this was the kitchen. It's not really changed much either. We plan on doing the kitchen. This was the back room that John built. Um, it used to be a deck. He built it into a room and then when he was finished with it, when he got his building done, he gave it to me for a classroom because we are a homeschooling family. Um, this is Jonathan's room when we first moved in. Um, there's little Lily. Um, and then we're going on to the girls room. So we did keep this pink and brown for a pretty good little while, maybe a year or two, I don't know. Um, we really liked it, but then we just, you know, we get tired of it. So we changed it out. Um, and this is our bedroom. Well, it was our bedroom. It's now the girls room and it pretty much still looks like this. Um, we've really not done anything in here. So that is a project we plan on doing very soon. We did, however, take out this big garden tub and, um, this is just a huge shelf with tons of toys on it now. And then, um, that little bathroom walks into the little bathroom with a shower. Now we are on to when we started the renovations. Um, if you look, Jonathan's back window, there's wood there. That's because that was already turned into John's room. I wasn't kidding. He didn't waste no time to get started renovating. Um, this is just another view of the living room once we started moving in. And then this is once the renovations, just like the paint, paint jobs and stuff like that started. Um, this is just some before and afters of that um, when it was just the normal, just the double wide trailer structure still. Um, John decided that we needed more room and he made a plan to build our trailer into a house. Now, this is not just a building onto a, the top of a double wide trailer. He has reinforced it and done um, lots of different metal work and stuff like that. So there's pretty much barely, like if you are in the house, you can see parts of the trailer just because if you know it's a trailer, you can see the structure of a trailer. But if not, you would be clueless. All right, and now onto the fun stuff. This is when we bought it. And if you're new here, this is what it looks like. Like right now, I literally just took these pictures an hour ago. Um, so yeah, this is now the outside of our home. It is now a two-story house. So very excited to share the inside with you now. Like I said, it is not finished and we do live here. So take that as you may. This is a lived-in home and a very loved home as well as a work in progress home. So, you know, it's not gonna be in the best shape at all the time. Okay, like never yet. Um, but this is like our little main entryway. Yes, around the doors here need to be finished. And the deadbolt is not on this door, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we still gotta do the trim around this door, but this is the main front door that we put into the center of our house. And you would see baby gates and that's we don't have a baby we just have a lot of dogs um, but this is when you first walk into the front door this is what you will see obviously the stairs are not finished um i shouldn't have to tell you that because we're not going for a dungeon theme here um that's just how far we've got it by we i mean john i'll say we a lot but it's it's not we it's he um but yeah see it's not finished um that still needs the permanent rails and then we need to finish the top but he hand designed this and hand built this all by himself. Um, he even made the steps. So he used to own a sawmill and he cut the steps out with that. So this is very special. It is the heart of our home and it really has John's heart in it. So it's very, very special. Um, again, they're not finished. You can see there. Um, but he wanted a spiral staircase um, and he built one. So... Yeah, this is the little living room that actually used to be Jonathan's room. 
um, there was a wall up that I just walked through, you know, where that column was, that is where the wall was. Um, this used to be his room, like I said, and we just took down this wall. He moved into the girl's room, which you will see his, you'll see his room <laughs> in a little bit. Um, but this is a built-in little shelving area. John done this, obviously. Um, but yeah, I love this area. This is one of my favorite little areas. I didn't want a huge living room. I wanted a small, cozy living room, and that's what we've got. If you've been here, you know the story with these couches. I hate them now. I mean, we, we had them when we bought the house, right? So I am over them, but it is what it is. We're stuck with them for a little while longer, and that's okay. So this is just more of the living room. Um, still need to switch out this light fixture because I hate it, but it will get there eventually. And the high ceilings here, this is where he did cut out the um, trailer and make high vaulted ceilings, and it is beautiful. I love the way that he done all the like cutouts on the roof, um, but yeah, we'll get back to that. I'll show you more of that later. This little area is a disaster. I hate this area so much. Um, very soon, well, I say very soon, but hopefully within the next year, this is completely gone out of here and it is in its new forever home. Uh, but for now, I have to make it work. And this is my gym slash store stuff that we don't have nowhere to put it right now area. So it's kind of an eyesore, but it is what it is. And, you know, we live here, like I said, so we just have to make do with the areas that we have and this is just part of it right now so no big deal um just a small inconvenience so and then through here is a hallway this was the actual hallway when we bought it ignore the paint um and then this was a walkway into jonathan's room which is now the living room um obviously that's not finished so i shouldn't have to tell you that this bathroom in here we really we haven't changed much like the structure of it is still completely what it was when we bought it but we have redone the walls and stuff a couple different times john done this um i'm pretty sure if i'm remembering correctly he done this when i was in the hospital having nolan it had to be nolan obviously um but i'm pretty sure that he done all of this and um maybe you know what i mean um but he cleaned it all up and got it perfect in here the walls was brown at that time but he done all of this what I was trying to say, um, he done the tile when I was in the hospital having Nolan. So, I mean, I'd already had Nolan, but you know, after the three days I had to stay there, he came home and stayed with our other kids because we didn't want both of their parents away from them. Um, just a personal choice for us. Anyways, this is what this bathroom looks like. Just a little tiny, you know, normal bathroom. So this is what it looks like now. Pretty much the only person that uses this bathroom is Jonathan, our oldest son. Oh yeah, just a simple bathroom, but I wanted to include it. Alright, and now we're going to head over to Jonathan's room. This is what it looked like um, the day that we got it finished. His room was actually the girls' room when we bought this house, um, but we redone it and gave it to him. This is what it looks like now after he moved in and put his little personal teenage touches to it um so yeah lots of cars in here and clutter but you know it's his space and we respect that it's not nasty it's just it's cluttery um it's a small space and he has you know it's pretty much like an apartment when we bought the house the door was way over there in that corner now it's here but then this little area um, it goes up into our loft and we're going to go up there and look at it right now. This still needs to be finished. It's not completely finished. But this is what this little area looks like. Um, won't look like this for long because the main reason John built me this little area, he built this just for me, was so that I could put a Christmas tree here and be able to see it from the road because he knows how much Christmas means to me and that just, I don't know, it's one of my favorite features of the house simply because he, you know, he done it with me in mind and knowing how much I would want that and he made sure that when he designed the house that I would be able to have a big window here with a Christmas tree in front of it. So that's really special to me. 
And then we just got a little sitting area up here. And there's my saying. Um, and then this is mainly my books because I will show you on the other side. And um, we're setting up a little area over there for the kids currently. So it's mainly just my books. But yeah, this is what this little area looks like right now. I did have my desk up here, but it just, I'm kind of a messy person and it just didn't look right to always see the mess up here because it's so open. So I decided to move all that to our bedroom and then just have this as a little sitting area. And I really like how it worked out. All right, now we're going to head over and go upstairs on the other side and show you Nolan's room and our room. Um, and then we'll come back down and do the other side of the house. So these are the stairs that John built that I was talking about earlier. Um, he 100% handmade this, hand designed this. Um, he cut these steps with a sawmill that we used to own. So he 100% handmade our staircase. Um, it is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it and everybody's obsessed with it, I think, that sees it. So this is just an overview here of showing what it looks like from up here. It's absolutely beautiful. I just, there's really no words. Um, it is so gorgeous. I just wish this reel was done because it just, it takes away from it, but we'll get there. Um, so yeah, this is just looking down here. I figured I would just show all angles. All right, and then this is like the little walkway into our room. We'll go in there in just a moment. Um, this is a little reading area that I am currently working on for the kids. That's a step that John has yet to put on. Same story. Um, nothing's completely finished. But yeah, I'm going to buy them some seats from there. And then into this walk um, is Nolan's room. So let's go ahead and we will go in here and see his room. I am obsessed with my stairs. I love this so much. But yeah, let's go into Nolan's room. Alright guys, and this is Nolan's room. Um, I had already filmed this part once when I took like multiple hours to clean it. I didn't feel like putting that time and effort into it today. So this is what you get. This is what his room usually looks like if it's clean. It's usually not even clean if we're going to be honest. But yeah, he's a little hoarder. Right? He, I said, you're a little hoarder. He sees beauty in things that other people don't, like literally other people's trash. He likes it. And so this is the room he ends up with. Um, he'll outgrow it, I hope. His brother was pretty bad too. And now Jonathan is not near as bad. So hoping that Nolan outgrows it as well. But yeah, this is, this is his room clean. Um, I need a better system. But, you know, it is what it is. So this is his room on a good day so he has tons of toys um we need some sort of system now we plan on building a closet in back here behind his door just like we have in ours but you know we've not done that yet we have a baby gate going into his room so the dogs can't get in here but as you can see mr herschel he jumps them the rest of them don't but yeah this is nolan's room tons of toys tons of hot wheels And then this is our room and our paisley dog um you walk into our room and it is like a little small hallway this side is our water heater um closet and just a tiny storage area that uh, we got a tankless water heater up here so it's in here on the wall just a little decal i made there um, and then this was john's idea most of the genius ideas came from him but he just built in a shelf onto this wall and then on this wall is our closet like our clothes closet um, 
Now this room is not 100% clean, but it's clean because we live here, like I've said. Um, if you come in, this is our bed. We need, we are actually planning on, she's making herself comfortable. Um, we're planning on making our own headboard, but you know, that stuff takes time. So for now, we just got this, the dog's stairs, because we have small dogs, um, a couch. This is my office area. Um, so it is very messy because I am a messy person. That's why it is up here. Um, I had it over in the little loft area, but I'm too messy and it's just too in view for people. So this is my office area. And then over in the other dormer for the front of the house, um, this will be, this will eventually be John's desk area for his work stuff but for now it's just a catch-all as you can tell so a dog toy but yeah this is our bedroom a little bit of paper on the floor here and there but this is just real life so and then that is our bathroom so let's go in there and i'll show you what it looks like and then this is our just a standard bathroom um, with a custom built shower that John built just for us. Um, it's again not completely finished. We still have to add some little like um, loofah and rag hangers holders. Um, but yeah. It's got a his side and a her side. So, if we ever build another one, which you never know, we might end up building another one, um, I want one of the rain shower heads as well. But this is what I asked for, and this is what I got on the bathroom. This is our new laundry room, new ish, anyways. Um, this was. Other than the pantry, this is the newest project we've done. Like, we'd done this um, last November, so it's been almost a year now. Um, so, this is it. Now, it's not completely finished. Pretty much nothing is completely finished. That's just how we work around here. And by we, I mean John. That's literally how he works. Um, he jumps project to project, but we get it done. We get it functional. When we're just happy with it. And, you know, for now, it works. That's all that matters. So, this is... The laundry room, um, last November my dryer went out and that meant that I wanted a whole new set because I had been eyeballing these for a while, well, some similar to this, and we decided that, you know, if we had to put in new machines, we might as well go ahead and do it a, give it a remodel because it was the same laundry room that we moved into. So John ended up fixing this. This was not the actual walkway, which you will see when you see the pictures. Um, so he fixed it like this and we put the little sign up there and I love, love how this looks. Um, back here is just where we keep all of our, uh, what's it called? Like detergents and stuff like that. And our furnace is also back there. So the shelves come out. It's a mess. I'm not showing you in there. You just got to take my word for it. Um, but there are shelves in there that have like, um, you know, paper towels and detergent and there's trash can and just all that stuff that's not too cute is hid in here and then just a simple washer and dryer um the door to the outside when we bought this house um this actually led you outside to a deck which is now john's room junk room um we'll get there but yeah this is the laundry room now it's, again it's not completely finished um but yeah and this is how we this is our laundry system there's one more basket soon there'll be two because when each kid Laundry is sorted by room. That's what it's going to leave it at that. You don't care. That's not what you're here for. But yeah, this is our laundry room. There will soon be a table. Not really a table because I'm five foot one and I oh, and a half. Um, but I can't reach it. So there are going to be like a table shelf type thing. So the stuff can't fall back there and I can make, make it pretty. Anyways, that's going to be the whole point of that. That's a long winded way of saying I'm going to make it pretty. Um, so this is our laundry room. Super simple, but... We like it. And 
And then when you come to this side of the house, this is one of the things that's not finished. That's why it looks like it does. On this side, this was actually supposed to be the dining room. Um, we switched it up when we bought it. This was a dining room. This was a family room. Um, but this is just now, I don't know. For now, it's pretty much just one big room. Um, we have plans for here. So, it's going to be changing. But yeah, this is what this area looks like. It is not done, obviously. Nothing is. Um, it's just, it's kind of cluttery. But, you know, when you are a homeschool mom and you live in the house, you're remodeling it just happens so that's all of our books some of that's all of our games some of our books are back there then we got books here just it's not the best setup right now but it'll it'll get there so then that's just one of the dog kennels that will also be um being moved to a different location once we get there i'm getting ready to start that project maybe in the next week probably hopefully at least the next month so pretty excited about that but we have a couch. This is my coffee bar that I redone. One of the first videos I posted on here. If you want to check that out, I will put it up in the cards. Um, but yeah, and then this used to have a television there. I'm thinking I might put one back because of how I plan on setting this room up. We'll see. I changed my mind a lot. Um, and then this table we've had forever. And I refuse to get rid of, but we are planning on building a... A farmhouse table John and I together um, but for now this is here and then this is our kitchen I just recently um, painted the countertops and the cabinets we plan on changing those eventually but for now this is what we're with stuck with and I actually really like it um, I recorded this whole process as well I think it cost us like a hundred dollars to make the kitchen look like this um, I will put that in the cards as well so this is what the kitchen looks like i am obsessed with the kitchen i love how it turned out this is what it looks like in here And over here is our new little walk into here area. I don't know. Um, this is our new door anyways. And um, this used to be a wall, which you would have already seen by now. But then we, I, not we, um, made this into a command center. I'm still missing something there, but that's just what it looks like for now. And then here um is john's room we're not gonna go in there because it is an absolute disaster um it's just where it's his catch-all for everything work and just everything um so we're not we're not going in there and then here is the pantry also not going in there today because there's christmas stuff thrown everywhere but i'm going to include footage of it here this okay guys i figured i would just room. go ahead and um, show, show that later. what in the world I'm talking about instead of being so confusing so this is the kitchen ignore it's dirty and this is the kitchen and this is what I'm talking about. Um, this is an addition. This used to be one big room. Ignore this. This is um, his work room. It's where he's got all of his tools, all of his junk, all their, yeah. Uh, so ignore this. But this used to be one big room that he built when we first bought this house. That later turned into my classroom and then back to his room. Um, because we needed the extra space. So, um, he needed the extra space. Let's say he needed it for his stuff. So, this was his room, and I really needed a pantry. Um, so, he built me this. There is the little, I thought it was a square. It's not even a square. There's this little bitty hallway here. Um, and there's going to be doors, of course, because it's messy areas. And this is my pantry. A little bit early. You've not seen that much of it yet. But this is the pantry, and then of course this way it le is leading into his room. All right, guys, and so that is going to be the end of this video. Um, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and do this because we have something very exciting, probably our biggest project to date, coming 
Um, hopefully, by the end of the year, we have started. That's my goal. Anyways, I hope it's John's as well. But don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time. Bye, guys. What a wonderful